Hello again everybody and welcome to today's sound waves lesson. So today we are going to do our focused sound search. As you may remember, our sound for this week is B, B as in balloon, and that is also our icon as you can see behind me. Bounce balloon, B, B, B. Okay, so today we are going to be looking for pictures of objects that starts with B. So let's look, have a look at how we can be a successful learner. I will know I'm a successful learner if I can hear B at the beginning or end of a word and if I can name the object starting with B or any other objects that has got B in the word. And that is especially our challenge for our grade one learners to make sure that we hear B at the beginning but also in other parts of the word. So just like last week, I am going to give you a minute to have a look at the picture and to find as many b words as you can. So when I say pause, everybody pause your video. Pause. Okay, welcome back. How did you do? Let's see what we found. Now, first of all, I found lots of blue, b blue. I found a blue butterfly and a blue bird and a blue hot air balloon. There is also a bee, B-E-E, -E. that one's for you Eddie. And there is a bug or a beetle. Here I've got a baby sitting on a bed in a box holding a balloon. And here we've got a tub. Our B is at the end, and there's a crab B at the end again, sitting in the tub. And there is a balloon on the tub, a blue balloon. Here we've got a basket with a bear and a baby bear. The baby bear is wearing a bib and eating a banana. And there is a bat hanging from the balloon. There is also a bin and a ball. And here we have a bull reading a blue book about a bus. There is a string of bells hanging off the basket and a bicycle. And there is a bag with a corn on the cob. Once again, a b at the end. How did you do? Did you find all of those? Now today I want to work with you on the next part of our learning intention. It says, I am a successful learner if I can sound out and write b words into my workbook. So let's do a couple of short words, three sound words together. So let's start with this one here, bat, bat. Let's sound out bat, b, a, t, bat, three sounds. So I'm going to write that here. Bat has three sounds, b, a, t, okay? So bat has three sounds and um, it also has three letters. Let's just change that a little bit so that it looks like the rest of our writing. Okay, and so that we can see it. It's yellow at the moment. Okay, there we go, bat, bat. So bat has one syllable, bat. So that can go in our one syllable column and that is if you were working on this part of the success criteria I'm successful if I can sort the words into words with one syllable and more than one syllable. All right, let's have a look at another short word. So we had bat. What about bug? Let's sound out bug together. B, A, G. Three sounds and three letters. These are known as CVC words. So we're going to type bug here because bug also has one syllable. Bug, b, a, g, one syllable and three sounds. Okay, there we go. Now your challenge is going to be to find some more words that you can sound out by yourself. And once you've done that, have a go at a bit of longer words with more than one syllable because syllables help us sound out each part of the word and then to put it all together. Like for example, butterfly. Have a go at that one. That's all we have time for for now. See you again tomorrow. Bye.